This week on Supercars Talk, it's welcome to 2022. So I hope everyone had a good break. Uh, I'm back a little bit early because we had a very subdued Christmas New Year period um, after our little one, uh, my four-legged friend, as some of you have seen him in the uh, corner of films and things like that. Um, we were out on Christmas Eve, uh, there were some fireworks and he uh, burrowed under the fence um, and got himself into a little altercation with a car. Um, some uh, lovely neighbours uh, where the incident happened, uh, they they found him and um, rushed him to the, um, I, I suppose, the vet emergency room, um, got in contact with us, uh, we, we met them there. Um, he had a dislocated hip, uh, they got uh, put back in place on Christmas morning. Uh, we picked him up late on uh, Christmas day. Um, he's making a good recovery by the, um, he, he seems to be. Uh, we've got to go back and get some more x-rays and that done in a couple of days. Um, but he's definitely making a recovery. Uh, but it means that someone's had to sit at home with him uh, the whole period because uh, he's not allowed to exercise or anything. He just has to sit still uh, while everything tries to repair itself. Uh, so it has been a very, very, um, yeah, uh, subdued Christmas New Year period for us. Uh, but as you probably saw, I got to spend some time uh, doing a new introduction video um, and I've done a few little bits and pieces for the channel while we've been sat around not doing much. Uh, so ho hopefully that improves the videos during the year. Um, and I've done a few little bits and pieces that'll hopefully uh, speed up the editing in the videos. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, definitely got some plans uh, for a few features. Uh, I've written out a few scripts and things like that as well. Uh, so that's uh, something to watch out for over the uh, coming weeks and months. In actual supercars news, it came out that Roland Dane has sold his remaining shares in Triple Eight. Uh, now the shareholders are uh, Tony Quinn, he owns 40%, and then Jess Dane and Jamie Winkup own 30% each. So Tony's got the controlling share, I suppose, but the Dane slash Wing Cup uh, team, you know, if there is any hard decisions to make and disagreements, uh, they're probably going to pull um, their votes together uh, to still have control of the team. Um, yeah, Roland fully retired. Um, the, yeah, did we, did we really see that one coming? Um, the interesting thing there, though, is... Um, is he divesting his interest um, with a view to replacing Sean Seymour? An article came out this week saying that uh, Tickford and James Courtney could have a new look for this year. So I, as far as I was concerned, with Erebus confirming that they were going to run two Penrite cars, that that was the end of the um, the Boost Courtney car. Uh, but Pete Adderton, um, the, the, the human headline, has come out and said that he will assess the Tickford sponsorship um, in the coming months. So take that as, you know, that they haven't found a sponsor to cover that car yet. And he'll just swoop in and get that, um, pick that up dirt cheap. Interesting though, I, I was thinking the other day, you know, uh, over the recent, oh, you know, last 10, 15 years, we, you really, in the old days, you had that model where the, each team had their, you know, one major sponsor um, and both cars looked the same within the team. And then they've really kind of gone away from that where you, you know, for a few years there, you, it was really, really limited who actually had, you know, two cars looking the same. Um, but it's funny, next year or this year now, uh, we, we could be going to where over half the field actually, you know, all the two car teams running uh, the same look across both cars. You know, probably a couple of different little sponsors on um, some of them, a bit like, you know, what Triple Eight have been running the last few years. Um, but we have got confirmed we'll have two Shell cars, two Red Bull cars, two boost cars out there, possibly three, but the third one will have a different look. Um, two truck assist cars, two Penrite cars, um, and I'm hearing uh, a mobile kind of Optus, Walkinshaw Andretti United uh, double look across 
both of their cars. Um, so yeah, just a little bit interesting that only a few years ago, teams were really going away from that one big sponsor and, you know, having, and then also having that, um, the BJR kind of rolling different sponsors on the cars each round. Um, and now we're going more back to that traditional one big sponsor that covers the whole team. The last little thing to cover off this week, uh, Speed Cafe had a poll on who should be Chaz's uh, teammate now that Lee Holdsworth has decided he's going to go and race around the back of the field next year, or this year, I'm going to probably say that for the first couple of months. Um, the, their contenders were Warren Luff, Garth Tander, Craig Lowndes, Zane Goddard, Jade No Jada, and um, Alexander Rossi. Um, uh, Luff, the obvious choice, uh, he just turns up at Bathurst and gets a podium. Uh, he was only fifth last year at Bathurst, but you know, that, that considering it is with Bryce Forward, it was pretty good. Um, the, the, the Tanner and Lowndes, obviously, because there's the question mark on what Winkup's doing and whether Triple Eight will run two or three cars at Bathurst. Uh, Zane Goddard, very, very logical choice there because yeah, he's the, the most recent main game guy out of a seat. Um, Jade No Jada, uh, he is supposed to be doing the D Super 2 um, with Walkinshaws this year, so that kind of makes sense. Would you want to put him straight in with Chaz? Um, would you even want to put him in with Nick Perkett, considering his run at Bathurst uh, in his, you know, his appearances so far there in the main race? Um, and Alex Rossi, I do I think they just needed to have an extra person there on the pole for some reason. Maybe they should have just gone other. <laughs> yeah, very, 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 yeah. Anyway, um, I, Luff is the logical choice. I personally can't see Tanner Lowndes going there. Um, I think there's a bit of, still a bit of bad blood with the whole Tanner thing. Uh, Lowndes, if he's not with Triple Eight, he'll be retiring, I would imagine. Uh, Zane Goddard, that would be my pick right now. Uh, but let me know down in the comments, um, you know, who, who would you pick if you could pick anyone, um, if, if you're in Walkinshaw's position? Um, and also, they need to fill the seat with uh, Nick Perkett. Um, we can assume Luff is going to fill one of those seats. Um, Dale Wood's another one that's available as well. Is he available? That's the only, I'm pretty sure he did sign a two year BJR contract. But then, you know, there's, there's probably a get out clause there if you have one of the big teams kind of knocking on your doors. Uh, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, I hope you all had a good uh, Christmas and New Year's and welcome to 2022.